I'm just so happy. I mean, we've, we've worked hard and we've, we deserve this one. Amazing feeling. I mean, it's been an amazing tournament, amazing run. It is uh, probably the product of uh, a massive effort, uh, so many hours put in over the last six and a half years, you know, for, uh, from a lot of people, you know, starting from the volunteers of the club to the board members, uh, us coaching stuff, you know, uh, backroom stuff, and obviously the players, you know, that are the stars at the end of the day of this, you know, they're the ones that put everything into place on the field. You know, so I think it's well deserved. It is unbelievable. It's probably a dream come true, and uh, as I said, deserved uh, for the amount of effort that we've all put in. Yeah, it's very hard to describe what's going on. You know, it's uh, it's a bit of dreamland at the moment for the players and for the squad and that. We've uh, we've managed to get on the podium, get a, a bronze medal, which is just absolutely outstanding for a, for a team, a New Zealand team at a FIFA tournament is something that's very, very special for us in uh, Auckland City, I think for New Zealand football in general and uh, for Oceania as well. I mean, uh, President of Oceania was there and he had a huge smile on his face and just great to see. Just to be up there is, you know, absolutely incredible and as I said, it's, it's because of the performance of the team and the staff and that all together, you know, obviously it's, it's helped everyone. I mean, uh, it's been great and, and, and we're just congratulated each other and uh, and, uh, and that was about it, you know, we're trying to, the boys obviously had a great time catching up with photos and that there with, with their superstars, you know, they're playing PlayStation the whole tour, playing with Real Madrid and then they get to meet their guys, so it's, it's, it's a great finish for the tour for us, really finished on a high. A lot of the boys were mingling with the likes of Sergio Ramos, I mean, obviously Cristiano Ronaldo, Gareth Bale, Karim Benzema, and that's, that's wonderful for them. Um, I don't know when that'll happen next or if it'll happen next, so to be able to take advantage of it and to allow so many people to enjoy mixing with their heroes is such a wonderful thing. I mean, coming to this tournament, you know, we thought you know, trying to win that first game, you know, everyone would think we'd lose that and go home. And we're now third and came third in the tournament and then standing beside Real Madrid with like Cristiano Ronaldo and Gareth Bale. And it's, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's incredible. It's one that definitely I can tell the kids. Highlight of my footballing career at Auckland City, probably footballing career of everything, you know. Um, I, I only had one touch and that's all, all I needed to, you know, put things right so um, it's always harder when you're not playing um, but but to get that kind of feeling in that uh, penalty that I got tonight as well makes it all a lot lot better. You know, we're used to playing in front of a couple of thousand if we're lucky so to play in front of 38,000 and I think it was over 40,000 for one of the games and you know, approximately 20,000 per game at this tournament that's very special in and of itself. Um, why they supported us I guess everyone loves an underdog can't really go past that um, and everyone appreciates them even if they are playing against them and we've, we've just got to be thankful that we are the underdog and we were able to carry so many people's um, best wishes through to third place. It's up there with the best of the moment. I mean, we've come third in the FIFA Club World Cup tournament, you know, FIFA tournament, and, and to be at a, a club like Auckland City, which I've been involved with now, you know, when I was overseas, I still had contacts, my family's been there a long time, and just to see the, the, the club go and do so well, so great, and, and 
we've had a great time here. We obviously knocked out the Moroccan champs and we gained, uh, I think, a little bit of uh, support there because we're the underdogs in every game. You know, I mean, that's realistic. We're realistic, we understand that. And, uh, you know, everyone loves an underdog. So we, we managed to grab, uh, you know, the, the support that we could from the Moroccan fans and they've been fabulous for us. And, and in every game we've heard them chanting our name. And, and for that, in the, in, the, in the third or fourth playoff, when we get in the medals to get that as well, I mean, it's just really special for the guys. Um, we're very aware that we come from Kibitia Street, that we get so much fantastic support from that place, and we're very fortunate to have people travelling with us um, at different periods throughout this journey. And uh, I'd just like to take this opportunity to say thank you very much. Um, I don't have my medal on me at the moment, but it's uh, definitely uh, the burden that the medal is is shared between and amongst so many people. Oh, I think it would be absolutely massive. Both of them probably smiling down on us right now, just going, it's unbelievable. Like, when we came fifth, I don't think anyone thought anyone would ever repeat that, let alone jump the third. And, um, you know, people, people like those guys who are true, true Auckland City people will just be absolutely smiling, absolutely buzzing.